Oktober. From the judiciary to the legislature, where the social health insurance bill, digital health bill, and sugar bill are among draft draws, draft draws awaiting to be assented to by President William Ruto after they were passed by the National Assembly. Lawmakers on Wednesday banned the midnight oil expediting the three crucial bills. The National Health Insurance Bill is expected to replace the National Health Insurance Fund as the government seeks to fast track the achievement of universal health coverage. There are no issues on the Digital Health Bill, but this particular Social Health Bill is the one dealing decisively with cartels. And I said it yesterday, Honorable Speaker, there are cartels that I know are already mobilizing and lobbying members. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, we must not fall prey to cartels, the corruption cartels that have brought down the healthcare sector of our country. The establishment of the Social Health Insurance Bill is going to ensure that there's transparency, there's accountability uh, in the way NHIF dispenses their operations. The establishment of a claims management department within the Social Health Insurance Authority is going to ensure that there is transparency in the way NHIF or Social Health Insurance Fund engages with its providers. The passage of the bill will also see all employees in the country contribute 2.7% of their gross salary to the National Health Insurance Fund. The Digital Health Bill, on the other hand, seeks to provide for a framework for provision of digital health services to establish a comprehensive integrated digital health information system, data governance and protection of personal health information, service delivery through digital health interventions, U.S. disposal and health tourism. Another bill that has sailed through the National Assembly is the Sugar Bill, which seeks to reinstate the Sugar Act that was repealed through enactment of the Crops Act 2013. This bill seeks to restore the roles of the Kenya Sugar Board, currently undertaken by the Sugar Directorate of Agriculture and Food Authority, established under the Agriculture and Food Authority Act 2013. Tilio Marco for Lunchtime News. Elsewhere, residents in Mandela.